The last thing we need to do before we start writing mods is discuss what software to use to write the mods. Any plain text editor would work, but I'd recommend using something designated for writing code, as you'll have extra features, such as auto indentation and syntax highlighting that you're just not going to get in most plain text editors. Be careful not to use anything that saves extra formatting, such as bolds or italics, as that'll mess up the code. Throughout this course, I'll be using Atom, an open source text editor created by the team at GitHub. Atom is a bit on the heavy side and may not be suitable for everybody. Not to worry though, although I'll be using a few extra features of Atom's that most other editors don't have, don't feel as though you have to use Atom. If you're already familiar with another code editor, keep using that. I'll be using a lintern Atom that many other editors probably don't have, but not to worry. My test will give you information about errors in code when trying to launch a mod if it has mistakes. And I'll show you how to use the information my test provides to debug the code. Over the years, I've used a handful of different editors and can recommend the following for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Genie and JEdit. Notepad++ is a good option as well, but is only available on Windows. These are all open source softwares, but doubtless there are many decent closed source options as well. I'll reiterate, if you've already coded in an editor, and like how it works, there is likely no reason to change to another editor for this course. If you're going to use Atom, let's take a look at some of the packages I've installed and configuration options I've changed. Otherwise, feel free to skip the rest of this lesson. I won't cover how to install Atom because there's nothing special to that. Just visit httpatom.io and download the appropriate installer and then install. Once you have Atom installed, launch it and open the settings with control plus comma or by using the Edit Preferences option. I'm using the One Dark UI theme and syntax theme because I think the dark colors are easier on the eyes, but feel free to use a different. Just know that your text may be shown in different colors than mine. Let's install some packages to take full use of Atom's power, starting with Language Lua, which gives us syntax highlighting while working on code. Secondly, let's install a linter, which will help us discover errors in our code before we try running the code in my test. The linter is actually two parts. We need to install linter and then linter lua, so the linter engine knows what to check syntax-wise. I've made a change to the linter because the default values annoyed me. I changed the lint on change interval to 6,000 milliseconds from the default 300, as I didn't see a need for the checks to be run that often. When the linter finds an arrow, it'll put a little red dot at the line in the code where the problem is detected. The status bar will also be updated and clicking on the linter button we can get more information about the error. I'll demo this more when we get to coding, though hopefully I won't be making that many errors. Last thing to do is change a few editor settings. I've changed my font size to 23, just to make sure that the text is easily readable at lower resolutions. Feel free to leave this at the default 14 though. I changed the preferred line length to 90, as the mind test code guidelines call for lines to be kept lower than 90 characters long. This just places a faint line in the editor to show where the limit is. You can make lines longer than that, but you should try not to. I also changed the tab length from 2 to 3, which just makes the indentations one space deeper. The last change was tab type, which I switched to soft rather than auto, as I always want to use spaces as tabs rather than tabs as tabs. I'll give a quick overview of Atom before we finish. On the left side of the window, you'll see a projects panel. If you don't see one, place your cursor near the left edge of the window and a little half circle button with an arrow should appear. Click on that arrow to open the side panel. You can add entire mod folders here or single files. When we get to writing mods with multiple files, it's really nice to be able to add the entire mod in one step and be able to navigate between files with very little effort. To add a project folder, you can either right click in the window and select the add project folder or using the menu file add project folder. Or if you want to add a single file, you can use File, Open File. When using project folders, we're able to create new files directly within Atom by simply right-clicking and selecting New File. Thanks for watching this lesson. I trust you learned something you can use to make your very own mods. If you enjoyed what you saw and learned something, consider subscribing and making a donation. You'll find all the resources for this lesson on my website, linked in the description below.